All right, folks, hello and welcome to this video tutorial on piecewise functions and sizing an image. So a piecewise, one, piecewise function is any function or curve um, that's made up of multiple parts or multiple pieces. So a, an example I have here in the red is actually a sine wave, as you can see, going up and down, and then it's attached to a linear function that just goes straight up. Okay, so what I want here is the goal was to make the baseball move along this sine wave, but then when it got to this point here, zero, I want it to shift up and follow the line, something like this. And there it goes. So how did I make that happen? Well, it's all about how you rig the function, setting it up as a piecewise function. As you see, I just have one function, f of c, but it's got this uh, clever syntax here, and I'm going to talk you through exactly what that says so you can recreate it f of x equals and then you use curly brackets okay that's where you're going to put your function and the pieces of the function are the separated by commas I could throw in a bunch of spaces there just to make it really obvious um, those are what are separating the pieces of the function and when you decide to separate the function into pieces you have to decide well which x value are you going to split it at and you can split it at multiple values or just one value so here we're splitting the x value or we're splitting the function at zero when the x values get to zero we want to stop the sine function and change into a linear function. So then, what do I say? I say when x is less than 0, colon, that's just kind of the syntax that they use. When x is less than 0, what is the function rule you want to use? And that goes in the next space. We want to use the function rule sine of x, comma, to split it up. And then you have to tell the program when you want to use the different rule. So when x is greater than or equal to 0, we want to use the function rule 2x. Or you could change the slope. 4x will be steeper. Um, 0.5x will be less steep. Um, it's up to you. I'll keep it as 2x for now. And that would be your piecewise function. Now, let's say you wanted to increase it uh, or change it back. Let's say at x equals 3 or something. Then you would have to change this from 0, almost like domain and range. When you go from 0 to 3, when x goes from 0 to 3, you want to follow 2x and then another comma to split it again and you'll say when x is greater than 3 you want to go back down and say negative 2x is the function rule you want to follow there okay we actually want to make it negative 2x plus 12 uh, the way I had it before which is negative 2x the uh, the function was starting out way below here and so you couldn't even see it but we want to change that y-intercept. We actually want it to hit at 12 uh, somewhere up here, uh, and then it'll connect to our graph previously. And now if I play the slider, the baseball will follow this piecewise path we've created uh, just as we want. The next part of this video is going to be changing the size of the image. Let's say you want this baseball to start out really tiny and then grow as it moves along the curve. Well, here you're going to click on these size coordinates, as Brenda Wilson figured out. And you don't want them to just be a number, then they'll stay constant but you want them to be part of a function dealing with the slider. So I could use, for example, uh, C and C, and then they will notice start out, go small, and then get large again. So if you can see what's happening there, it's getting small and then large, it's following this slider. So it, it's kind of using the absolute value, the, except the negative sign will orient the baseball different differently in a different direction um, but it's starting at negative 11.7 and then as I get closer to zero it gets tinier the size and then it'll start growing again well, let's just say we want it to go from tiny to large we'll just start this function you know started at c plus 11.7 and then we're starting effectively at zero c plus 11.7 in the coordinates and then if we don't want it to grow as fast you can always change the um, the coefficient here, make it like 0.4c, 0.4c, and it will not grow uh, quite as quickly. So let's see. Um, I'm sorry, I want to put that in parentheses. What that looks like. And you could fool around with these coordinates until you get exactly the type of look that you want. All right, and that's pretty good. You got your baseball that enlarges and goes off the screen, and that's how you make, uh, that's how you size an image with Desmos. 
and also watch the syntax carefully again if you want to create a piecewise function. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.